What is going on, my friends? Welcome to hey, another episode of the Florida series. We're gonna jump right into it because it's cool to fish around the pier. Came out here for a leisurely day of pier fishing, and it's gotten wild. Made some new friends out on the pier. Let's go pursue whatever this school of fish is. I did not bring the stuff for a proper. I have to switch the handle on this. Did not bring the stuff for casting for like mackerel, king mackerel and stuff. So one of the guys, Sasha, who's a subscriber, loaned me his fishing reel. I'm gonna switch it on him because I'm a righty when it comes to reeling. Alright, look at this guy's a school of fish. Look at everybody's catching. <laughs> They're giant. They're giant ladyfish too. Dad, I need those pliers. Dude, those are big ones. I don't have pliers, dude. I'm so I'm underprepared for this. Watch out, Ace. All right, let everybody at once hooked up on like huge ladyfish here, guys. <laughs> so, guys, you can see the action. And it's fun catching the ladyfish, but we're hoping to like hook into mackerel or whatever, because mackerel swim with ladyfish. So either way, it's fun when we catch the trash fish, but we don't know whenever we're gonna hook up into a mackerel. Especially like a big Spanish mackerel or a king mackerel is whatever he's hoping for. By the way, this is Sasha, who's a subscriber who loaned me this uh, fishing rod and reel. So I see a, like a vague shadow. You guys see it like right there? Is that them? That's them. I'm pretty sure them. <laughs> You're gonna go to the end? Yeah. I might go with you to see what you guys. It's prime king weather. It is prime king weather. Like the was it blown from the south? It was off of a freaking uh, yeah. school of. Comes in straight to us. I love it. Okay. I lost one earlier. It's probably like 10 pounds. Oh. Hooked him. Dolphin came for him. He jumped. Shook. Shook got out. Oh, shoot. No, man. No, thank you. Thank you, though. Oh, did you hook a tarpon? Dude, that's a crazy color. All right, guys, so now what we're doing is uh, this lady fishing have moved off, so we're gonna go to the very end. And of course, the goal is just to catch that elusive king mackerel. We love the Spanish mackerel, the king of the giant ones if you're new to fishing. And uh, we're gonna see if uh, we can get one. Oh, I did, he shook it off. All right, we're on the end here. They just, tarpon? Did you? tarpon just rolled right there. Guys, we got some tarpon around here. That's the third time today we've seen some. Oh, look, they're all behind mine. Check that out, I got a school of them. Do you have another color? They seem to be just following. Oh, oh there they are. Oh, oh hey. Oh, they appeared. They appeared out of nowhere. Right Boy, the fish are active because even the jacks now are everywhere and they're like just going nuts. Yeah, this is feeling. Is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. I was like, the sun goes down a little more. Mm mm mm. Uh huh. There they all are. They like they follow in the pink, but they won't bite the pink. That looks like a Spanish right there with the black tail. That one right there. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that's a Spanish for sure. Bonita. Ooh, I would love. I've never caught a bonita from shore. Whoa, dolphin. What's the biggest fish you've caught? I caught a seven foot one inch sturgeon a few years ago. Do you know what a sturgeon is? Yeah. Yeah. It was a great. It was a white sturgeon. Where I used to live in Idaho. They are everywhere. Oh, this guy's got them. What does he have? What is going on over here? Ladyfish. That's a big ladyfish. Oh, yeah, you see that. Oh, yeah, guys, look, birds in the distance and the fish are splashing the surface. Man, I wish they'd come under the pier. Oh, got him, got him, fish on. Nice, nice. Oh! The dolphin was coming for it too. Oh, there's one. Once, they, once the dolphins come, there's no... I would, I would it's see lazy. them. Is this good eating or no? No, sir, it's not. But the dolphins will come, in fact, that dolphin's sitting right there. If you drop it in, he might come over oh, and eat yeah, it. No. They'll love them. But they won't catch their own. They just wait till you drop it in. Yeah, you guys, there's one right there. And in the water. Dang, guys, do you see that? Is that showing up? Oh Look goodness. at all of the birds they over diving. there. There, there is a huge feeding frenzy, but it's just beyond casting range. Got it. Yes. Let's see if I can land him. Oh, he got off again. Got him again. 
All right, come on. What is this? Another ladyfish. Uh, got it. Yes. Oh, you got one? Uh-huh. Oh. It's a big one, too. Oh. Look, a whole bunch of them following, bro. A smaller X-Rap. Look, oh, yeah, look at all of them down there. Cast down. This is might be my personal best ladyfish, which I know isn't saying much, but... Yeah, flying fish. Woo. Thank you for the use of your rod, bro. Do you want the fish, or y'all just throw them down right here? And or unless you have a cooler, I can stick them. In. Is that uh, your? That's, that's our friends. Our cooler's on the other side. On the other side, I'll throw them in. All right, guys, I should have just showed me. Today. You snagged it. Somebody was fishing from the pier, you know, and then all of a sudden it got pulled over. Yeah. And then you must have snagged there. That's A pen slammer's like 150 bucks. Wow. Yeah. I only paid eight bucks for it to get on the pier. <laughs> you know, I might get some ice. I might go back, get my stuff out of my truck, and I'll get some ice for the that cool it's that white cooler around the corner right on I have yeah, I right there, Ace. yeah like get, no i can just get you so, so. oh yeah you guys are sharing your stuff with me and everything yeah yeah i gotta get my stuff and a bag of ice i will be back all right my friends i went back to my truck got all my stuff and uh i've got a spanish mackerel sabiki 60 pound line so hopefully they can't bite through hello how are y'all doing around dude this is probably the farthest I've ever been able to cast with this new Shimano Stella setup so no. what do you have Spanish really yes yeah, dude oh he's got a Spanish yes. yes first Spanish of the evening dude that's a big one too not a giant really dude just came out nice nice Beautiful. Sweet. Yeah, I did. I did think it was. First on the board. How are you, sir? Good. How's it going? Good, good. Where are you from? Colorado. Colorado? Yeah. You're like the second person I met from Colorado oh, yeah? today. So All cool people hang that's out long, there. That's long. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, guys, because the bites come in waves. It's like we'll get two or three or four bunch, and then and then it dies. And you're just waiting for it to turn back on again. And you hope that you're the first one to catch him. Oh. What is it? A Spanish. Well, I was looking at the wrong spot. Sweet. The second one of the evening. Nice job, man. Another solid one, guys. Don't even have to measure these ones. Definite keepers. On a crappie jig. On a crappie jig. <laughs> nice. Guys, if you remember the trout video, this is Asher. He's from uh, North Carolina. Or no, Digger from Tennessee, you're from Tennessee. And uh, you guys remember him from the trout video. And we just happened to run into each other out here on the pier again, just like last year. I'll link that video down in the description if you guys want to check out that trout fishing day. There's also some others out there. Grown mountain have you heard of tiger fish? Got him. Fish on, boys. Whoa, this is something. This is something good or I have multiple Spanish on. This is something good, friends. Whoa, this is this is something epic here. Oh, he's just pulled off. Dang it. It's probably on your bucket. Dang it. Oh, oh Ash, or CJ's hooked up on something big. Oh, man, guys. That stinks. I was really hoping to catch one of it. He's taking me for a ride. Dude, he is. I'll get out of your way. I'll get out of your way. I'll take him. I don't know. Dude, oh, it's a big Spanish. It is. Dang. Oh my! You bring him up, or, no. or gap it. Can we get a net? Just reel him up. Uh, how? What pound test do you have? Uh, I think it's about twelve. Ooh, twelve. Mm. Does anybody have a pier net? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do, just be safe than sorry. I would say, especially with twelve pound. I mean, if you had twenty, I would say. Ooh, that's a nice pier net. Sweet. Just bring him yep, just bring him right in. There we go. Yep. Sweet, got him. Oh, he's like half 
Nice one. Thank man. you very much. He's like, I'm gonna fall out. <laughs> nice one. He's about to fall out of the neck. Oh, you got him on a little Rapala. Oops. Oh. Look at that teeth. Nice. Sweet. All right, let me get mine back out. What did you hook, Ace? I. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. I think I got that on GoPro. Asher's hooked up, my friends. Yeah, Spanish. On a bubble rig. Nice. Sweet. It's on now, folks. Oh, Isaac has one. Hardtail. Oh, a hardtail. Okay. Still. Dude, next time, tell me. On a swim bait? Oh, oh sorry. Hey, you're fine. Nice one. We caught like six. All of them have been way keepers, guys. Big keepers. Easy keepers. Yep. You using a bass rod? I like the gutsiness. Come on, guys. Never before has a king been filmed on my YouTube channel caught from the pier. I was hoping you guys had come through for me. Tarpon would be way better. Sturgeon poaching was big in Idaho. Anyway, this dude catches a five, six foot sturgeon and he's like, I'm gonna keep it. So he puts it in the cooler, takes it home, like you're gonna do if you're a good poacher. He cleans it, but then he takes the carcass and throws it in the creek behind his house. So, so some like lady's just walking along and she like looks down, you know, it's like a four foot wide creek or something. And I guess he thought animals would carry it off or something. Yeah, five to six foot filleted sturgeon. So, so like some person just walking along the green belt just like sees this cut up fish, calls fish and game, fish and game comes out, grabs the fish, and the, and the first thing they do is they're like, you know, let's start with that house. The house is right behind. Let's ask them if they know anything about it. Fish and game knocks on his door. Is like, hey, sir, do you know about the sturgeon? The guy was just like, and they got him for, I think they revoked his license for five years or something. It was a big, it's a big deal to poach a sturgeon down there. Spanish? Isaac's hooked up. Isaac doesn't say much when he hooks up on Spanish. Oh, dude! <laughs> Got one. Yes! Hooked up. It doesn't feel giant. It might be. No, oh, it's just a jack. Dang it. Dude, it's this beef stick action. Oh, it's that. Oh, what are those called? Yeah, the ones that are poisonous. Or yeah, poisonous. Yeah. <sighs> Gotta get the pliers for this one, folks. Oh, Asher has another second Spanish of the evening. Easily a keeper. Very nice. In fact, we were just talking, guys. I think Asher's been on the, my channel more than any other subscriber. Guys, these have a barb on their belly. I think he's laying it down now. He's hiding it, but these things are nasty. It sticks you, and it's like, it's like a, imagine a really bad wasp sting. Well, my friends, I, it was a valiant attempt by me. I lost my Spanish macro. Isaac is tying in the light. That's how dark it is out here now. Um, oh, some, oh, oh, sorry. I was about to sign off for the night. And Isaiah hooked up on Dude, dude, what is it? All right, I got a little light action going on Isaiah. So, whoop. <laughs> are you shark fishing? That's a huge shark. That's a big shark. That's a small one. That's a small one? Yeah, that's yeah, a small one. That's a small one. It, oh, it's a nurse shark, I think. I think it is, too. I think, that's my, I think it's my first one. Your first nurse? My first nurse shark. Nice. Never caught a nurse shark. Nurse shark. Bulls. Yeah. Have you ever gotten one before? Yeah, he's never caught a nurse shark before. He just there we go. There we go. Oh, almost flew. Nice. And she swims slowly off. They like move in slow motion. That is cool. Ice. Well, there's the uh, got the leader, got the sinker, got everything. Everybody, everybody loves the shark catch. All the, like by the time you guys can't see it, but like tons of tourists gathered around. And uh, everybody seemed to love it. Well, guys, it was certainly an entertaining uh, evening out here, afternoon. 
because um, it's been slow, but then the storm, a storm is brewing and it's caused everything to start biting. So that's good. I guess I'll have to see you guys tomorrow. Isaac, it's good fishing with you. Good fish, I hope to see you tomorrow. Sasha, good fishing to you. Thank you for letting me use your rod. Now, if we see you guys tomorrow, fish will be biting. No tents or sleeping bags. Dang it, I was gonna camp out here. All right, my friends, back out on the pier. Not as early as I was hoping initially, but early enough. Hopefully get on a good bite. How's the fishing? Oh, that bad, huh? Hey, morning. I'm a little late. How's it been? Uh, I caught a few jacks on the Sabiki, but that's about it. Oh, nothing's been going on? Mm-mm, not this or not at all. Oh, shoot. Okay, so here's the uh, fishing report for the morning. Uh, zero Spanish mackerel, but everybody's hopes remain high because we're fishermen. Uh, no, but everybody's <laughs> I'm hoping that when the rain hits, when the... I don't know. They're hoping the rain hits that that will turn it on. I don't know, but we'll see. Well, my friends, there is nothing going on out here. Like 20 fishermen and nobody's caught anything. I'm going to stay on the move. I got to find some fish. Let's go exploring. Uh-oh. It has been sprinkling a little now. I've actually had to put on my coat. In fact, the new Ace hoodie, actually it's not new, I keep saying it's new, it's not new anymore, but it uh, looks pretty sweet. And I like that the blank is made by Champion, so it's a super high quality hoodie. One of these hoodies you can have for like, uh, for the next five or ten years. Anyway, so I've donned this and it is uh, getting breezier and rainy, so we'll see what happens. Alright my friends, so I have here just like a Carolina rig on, and I'm just going to use a couple different uh, swim baits to try to catch some flounder. All right, so I'm at this park, and all it is is this little strip of beach here. And there's like a play area over there, but this little strip of public beach. And I ran to a subscriber who flounder fishes here, so I'm gonna attempt to catch a flounder. And you can see there's this little launch ramp, sort of. Let's we'll start with a gulp. All right, Carolina rig away. Just gonna drag it through the sand. Oh, I just had one. I just had one, folks. First cast at this spot. Oh, look, he's biting it. He's biting it. Oh, shoot. Dude, my gulp just got gulped. Got him. Got him. Fish on, boys. Fish on. Flounder. Flounder. Ho, ho. Flounder alarm. That's what's down there. A uh, little guy, but still, that was on. I just used a part of a gulp. I didn't. It had the tail bitten off, so I just kept fishing it. Yes. All right, my friends. It's an undersized one, but uh, a good start to the spot. Flounder is such a cool fish. That's what I'm using. Just a little gulp grub. I've gotten bites every cast. Love being near an Air Force base. Check this out. Look what drifted in. A stretch. 25 plus. Huh. Cool. I'll have to keep that. Huh. Well guys, that was my last piece of gulp. That's all I got left is a little nugget there. Sure, the pinfish will love that. It's got one flounder and I got this cool lure. I'll probably take the rusty hooks off and at least remove it from the beach. Oh, it's gonna be a tough one, folks. It's gonna be a tough one, but I've got a few other spots I can go to try to catch something good. You know you're a committed fisherman when you have a bunch of fishing reels and live bait in your front seat. <laughs> All right, guys, some of y'all may recognize this place. I've been here a couple times before, and uh, it's a spot where I think there used to be something here, like a pier or whatever. Oh, bait, right there. The water looks clear, too. I'm so happy. I thought with a storm, it might make it muddy. This might be good fishing. And there's a little heron, a white heron, 
hanging out right over there, so that's good. But I think this spot got destroyed by a hurricane, and they haven't rebuilt it back. And if you go down that way, there are more broken down bridges, uh, piers, and stuff like that. All right, my friends, I bought some minnows from a tackle shop the other day. That's what I'm using there. It's called a tiger minnow, I believe, on just a simple Carolina rig. Toss them right by, oops, that was too much. Right by the stanchions. I got one. I got a fish. I was just reeling in to check the bait. A flounder. Ooh, a little flounder. That's a good sign though. That's a good, 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 good sign. Just need to big one. Apparently in the fall time when it gets cooler, they move shallower. What a cool fish. I love flounder. I just like the look of them and stuff. They're very cool. There he goes. Hey, bro. Look how he blends in. That way, man. That way. That way. <laughs> Whoa. Look at that yacht. Triple decker. I wonder what the operating cost is on one of those. <laughs> and the pelican he keeps diving around. This is cool. This is fun being out here. Oh, I got some. I got a bunch. Yes, that was a good throw. What do we got? Some mullet and pinfish. Oh, well, there's there's a good catch. There's a good haul. And they're all like nice ones. Like really, really good bait size. Hmm. Maybe I should go out to the pier with these because nothing's really happening here. I, mean, I got the one flounder right away and then nothing. <sighs> Folks, I'm scooting to the big pier here. I haven't fished this one yet. Let's hope it's different out there. I'll tell you what, folks, I love Florida, and I ain't leaving till I taste some of its finest seafood that I catch myself. All right, my friends, making my way out to this really, really long pier. Surfers are out. The waves are huge. The sun came out for a second. It's made it look all very dramatic. See that little one? That's the bait. Oh, cast rep my surfer first cast at the pier. Look at all the surfers out here, my friends. And more keep coming. These two guys got doubles right here. Short ride for one. Oh, that guy's that guy's uh, <clears throat> older, like gray older. Oh, and he's going right into the pier, sir. Be careful. It's a dangerous move. The old man still got it, I guess. Oh, he emerged alive, so I guess he's he's got it. Oh, but that gentleman's 60 years old. Dude, bro, bro, you're right in my line. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's damn stupid. They're supposed to say 150 feet away. Yeah, they're supposed to say 150 feet away from the pier. Yeah. They're not doing that today. Uh, no. I've seen one go under. Uh huh. Kind of don't like it, but they don't get very many surf days either, so it's kind of. I just started. This is the first stop. I'm gonna make my way out to the end. Well, gotta watch out for Grandpa here. Gosh, these surfers. Good net. I mean, I know they don't get very. <laughs> caught one. They're, they're not staying 150 feet away. Let's put it that way. At all. I mean, they're coming. Oh, look, look, look that. Guy, obviously. Yeah. I'll probably get you a few more before the day is out. <laughs> Gosh, Grandpa's tearing it up, folks. That, that gray-haired gentleman down there is ripping the gnarly pounders. 
I'm not sure if ripping the gnarly pounders is a surfer phrase, not being a surfer myself, but uh, <clears throat> surfer girl's in the way now. Yeah, nobody's staying 150 feet away. Honestly, if they get hooked, I ain't feeling bad because I, mean, I don't want to hook anybody, but that's their deal. At the same time, I'm not going to yell and be like, hey, you're supposed to be close to the pier because they, they don't. Uh, I don't know. I like watching surfing, but they know the risk. Are you the guy from Ace Video? Yeah. Can we get a photo? Sure. I like your uh, I like your jacket. In fact, you. so as you were walking up, I glanced at your jacket and I thought I need to make an Ace logo with it, like brightly colored, like that, like make a. Well, I got that's it last funny. night. Yeah, that's, that looks cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome, man. I appreciate you watching. There's that dark spot in the water again. Is that bait or is it seaweed? No, I haven't gotten any seaweed really. Unless it's like fine seaweed that my line is just going through. There's definitely some sort of dark spot right there, though. Got him. Got him. Got him, guys. Got him. Got him. There's a guy about your age. On the live pinfish. Oh, no. I gotta tighten my drag. I gotta haul him out. Gotta haul him out. No, son of a... Live. I didn't have my drag tight enough. Yeah, I am. Hey, dude. How's it going? That was a big bull. Dude, dude, it was a big bull. I had a pinfish on like that big. Ah. There's been like 45 pound bullshit. Dang it. Dude, that was a beast. I didn't have my drag set hard enough. I should have. Dang it. And also the power. You ran you straight to the power. Yeah, yeah. I was. That's the only thing they know how to do. Yeah, and I, I, needed, I needed to just crank him out of there. Dang, that was badly played on my part. Shoot. That was my last pinfish, guys. I only had two, but I have um, this mullet, which is just as good. Oops, if not better. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. No, you don't. He almost made an epic escape, but not today. Check out how perfect that mullet is, like a three-incher. You couldn't order bait that good. I'd prefer to get a slot one so I can cook it, but honestly, I'll take anything. He was right by a piling. Man. All right, make sure my drag is set tight. Guys, that was a tactical error. My drag was set a little too light, which is not good for this kind of pure fishing because you don't want them to wrap around the pillars. I got to get them up to the surface as fast as possible. Oh, nice. Wow. On the very end. Three people out Wow. Guys, that was crazy because Grandpa came streaking out and I actually thought at first that my line was hooked around him. Got him. But then I noticed my line was still down there, so... Yeah, it was a fish. It wasn't another surfer. Yeah, see, look at these guys. You know what the limit is on surfers today? Man, what one? Turns out if you can, if you, turns if you can pull them up or not. Guy just caught a nice. Oh, never mind. He abandoned ship. And then we got this random kayaker out here. A surfer kayaker, I guess. You don't see that every day in the ocean. This dude is trying to go right from my line here. <laughs> the dude on the kayak like looks like he's having the most fun. That's crazy. That's <laughs> so cool. Why does that look more fun than surfing? Like, <laughs> you don't have to stand up. He catches way more waves. Oh, my friends. My friends. I missed my opportunity. Just ran out of time. I'm like a football team that lost. He didn't actually lose. He just ran out of time. Ran out of time with... When you were down, yeah, whatever, I don't know. Anything? No. It's tough beans out here.
I really don't know what to do. You go close to shore and fish for redfish? Or do I go to the end? Try to catch Mac. Alright, coming out to the octagon. A lot of people. You can just see all the people. Hey, man! Hey, how's it going? <laughs> How are y'all doing? Good, man. Thank you guys for watching my channel. Dude, man, I, I see you with your daddy all the time. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yes. And then you see in his channel, nice haircut, yeah, by the way. Yeah, I like the haircut. Cool to see you, though, Yeah, I appreciate you watching. Nice to see you, man. Do you hang uh, in there? Great yeah, birthday. Good luck, buddy. Good great meeting you. It's my birthday. You. I'll be, I'm 57 today. Oh, happy, so happy birthday. birthday to me. Happy birthday hey, to, to you. Me. <laughs> happy birthday to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to meet y'all. Have a good one. You're on my YouTube channel. Huh? You're on my YouTube channel. I don't know if yeah. anybody's ever shown that to you. Yeah, they do that all the time. Okay. I'll you, catch you, fish. You, caught a, you caught a couple big redfish while I was out here fishing. Well, they ain't been on this year, though. How often do you come out here to fish? I've been doing it since I was 15. I'm 65, so 50 years. Wow. Oh, they got ladyfish. Well, where they're ladyfish, there are uh, Spanish mackerel. Everybody's catching them. Everybody's catching them. Except me. Some of them are ladyfish, I have to say. Guys, they're following, but they ain't eating. I need to switch to live. All right, my friends, yesterday I cast netted this big mullet. Let's put him on and free line him. Look at that big dude. That's the biggest one. Hey, Asher. How's it going, man? Guys, if you remember from a couple days ago, Asher subscriber lives actually near me but we keep meeting in Florida all right come on big fish oh gosh that little mullet is just going crazy down there hey how are you sir nice haircut thanks man you ever heard of the same barber have you I have a full head of hair I just shave it to look that's good oh that's I've got a robust head of hair I like that answer makes you look distinguished Look, oh, look see, at see, look at, look at, Spanish look at all the Spanish. Look at the Spanish, they're everywhere. Well, how come my bait? Hey, Spanish, my bait's they right. Want they want to fight for it. You got to use a gotcha if you want to Spanish. I mean, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm sorry. Oh, nice Spanish. Yeah. Man, see, there, there were a ton of them. <laughs> Guys, I got my bait down there. My little swimming mullet. Well, I hope you catch something amazing. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Have a good one. You as well. Another Spanish. Like, I swear I'm the only one out here not in the kitchen. I have been going for the gold. I've been using bigger baits and stuff, so. Okay. Here, I'm going to put this in your cart. Oh. Have you ever seen those? Um, bubble I have rig? not. Well, I've seen bubble rigs, but what did you fill them with? Silicon? Hot glue. Hot glue? Yep. That's a great idea. Yep, I'm going to put it on your cart, all right? You uh, can use it. Sure, thank you. Do, yep. you, do you not... What, what's this for? Nothing. I just, just watch your video once in a while. So. Oh, I appreciate that. Oh, thank you. Okay, I was like, this random guy's gonna come. I appreciate that. All right. Thank you. <laughs> that was nice of him. Oh. Oh. Wow. You got him right under the pier again. Very nice. That's a big one too. You get him right under the pier again? Yeah. That's crazy. I just had my line down there. Somebody hooked up on a sailfish. I was actually at, at the Panama City Pier where a guy hooked up on a sailfish. He didn't, um, got him. <gasps> what? I wait, look, there's the mullet. There's the mullet. There's, there's the mullet swimming. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe that. I set the hook too hard. I got ex- These things are so slimy. Oh, guys, I cannot believe it. Guys, I just keep moving and grooving, moving and grooving. I see, oh, look, a heron is out here fishing. I'm going to kick him off his fishing spot. He is not going to be happy with me. Sorry, bro. 
survival of the fittest. I don't actually believe that, I just like to make fun of it. I see a crab on the launch ramp, guys. I'm gonna try to catch him. Don't know if he'll, if he'll get in the net. Oh, he's in, he's in. Oh, I got a blue crab. Use him for bait. <laughs> Look at that. He was laying flat on the launch ramp so he had no rock to go under. I'm either gonna eat him or use him as bait. All right, Charlie, there you go. You can terrorize the minners in there. All right, I'm leaving. I kicked you out of your spot. You can have it back. This is the only place I can cast net, okay? It's smooth bottom. All right, back to the pier. All right, look at all the people out here. I think everybody's gonna take full advantage of the beach day now that the storm is over. I think I see redfish down there, guys. There's something dark on the bottom. I, I really can't, I don't know what they are. Whoa, look at that. Is this a C-130 or something? Wow. That is cool. Wow, they could do that again if they wanted. Got him, got him, got him folks. Got him. Look at him go right for the pillar. Oh my gosh, it's a remora. Oh, it's just a remora. I thought I had a redfish. Ah, stupid. Man, I thought finally. Guys, I've been out here for a good bit trying to catch these redfish. All right, my friends, it's time to get Mr. Krabs out here. I put him in the bottom. Hello, how are you doing? This is gonna be gruesome. You don't want to see this. Mm-hmm. A redfish. A redfish? Yes, ma'am. There we go, my friends. Just half a crab. I might use smaller pieces later, but I'm gonna try half first. Got him. Got him on the crab. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, it's a big one, guys. It's a big one. This is what I was hoping for. Hey, can you guys, hey, can you guys help me with the pier net? I'm gonna need it. On a crab, guys. That's the first time I've ever hooked something on a crab. Uh, yeah, that's mine. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What's up? This is a big one. Oh, it's a big red. He is so strong. Dude, these, oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? It's a big red fish. I don't know, what? I wasn't. Got my little drag set. It just, I, it was a red fish. It was one of them. Thank you, thank you. And now I've got this big mess. Oh, he didn't snap it. He just threw the hook. He just threw the hook. Guys, yeah, look at that. I thought he snapped it, but he just threw the hook. So there's nothing I did. I was wondering, like, what did I do wrong? I didn't do anything wrong. Like, it just pulled out. Thought I maybe mistied a knot or something. But I didn't. Man, I worked so hard to get the bite. I know. It was on the crab. Oh. That's a huge manta ray. That's a big one. Mm-hmm. Guys, check it out, his big manta ray. Come flying through. It's a nice size. Just filter feeding all the way. There's two subscribers that were, that were gonna help me earlier. They grabbed my pure net. Oh, oh shoot. Get him in there. Now lift, 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 lift. There we go. Oh, sorry, I was... <laughs> Nice! Oh, there you are. Hey, Dude, it's totally a keeper. I borrowed your net. I didn't mean it. Uh, no, no, no. You're fine. You're fine. Yeah, he asked. He, he called out to me. Dude, nice. That's a way a keeper. That's like 17, 18 inches. That is a solid oh, Spanish mantle. Nice. 
Congratulations, bro. Hey. <laughs> you said you're used to inshore fishing. Yeah, it's my first time. We just went down there and bought a gotcha. My mom sent me some money. So <laughs> gotcha plug. Nice, a silver one. Big Spanish. Nice job, bro. I think I'm gonna come out here, guys. Any pliers? I think yeah, I've got pliers. Can you use over here? Sure. Right. Guys, I think I'm done fishing for redfish. I have given them all afternoon. Everybody is catching Spanish now, so hopefully I'll get on some of that action. Dude, that's gonna fry up so nice. Oh heck yeah. That's what I was catching earlier. That's what everybody <laughs> was catching over there with just a bunch of ladies. I've heard that yeah, the Spanish mackerel swim with the ladyfish, so as I have some new gotcha plugs here, I'm gonna have to put one on. See what I can get. That. Hey, you're welcome, man. Good catch. What? No. Oh, where was a big Spanish right here? If you throw your gotcha. Oh, dude, I have. I just bought a three pack. That I just opened. I have one on. If you need, do you need another one? Yes, sir. That would be please. Oh, there's a big Spanish right there. If you want to catch it. Oh, well, I'm just gonna fish right by you guys. Guys, never mind about moving to the end of the pier. Uh, pick whatever color you want. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I'm just gonna fish by myself. I have not. Have not. No, I'm a terrible fisherman. I'm having, this is a bad day. This is, the last couple days I've not been uh, doing well. Fred is the Overwatch. By the way, that's kind of the universal peer name for all parents. Fred, they're all Fred. <laughs> He's oh, wait, wait. oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were taking pictures. I'm sorry. He'll come back. Hey, you want any? Mm-mm. What about you guys? I was wearing your lucky wristband. All right. And I lost all my sabikis. Oh. Um, fish, not so lucky. Yeah, a fish bought it. A fish, a Spanish, I guess, got it and it tore it all to pieces. Shoot. D um, was it a light sabiki, like a small one? See, yeah. what I got here, I got a big heavy sabiki. I do. Uh, it's yeah, kind of tiny. Well, if you can untangle that, you can have that. It's just a little untangle. There you go. Yeah, you just tie into that, and I'll put the sinker on there for you. Yeah, they were tearing up. They bit the whole sabiki off. There you go. So, is this the start? Um, nope. This the start and the there. start is that one. This? Yep. And if that sinker's too big, you can always take it off. Thank right. you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Let's hope that bracelet turns out to be lucky. Mind if I join for a minute? Mm. Uh, they'll like pass through kind of a thing. All right. Oh, he's reeling them up. All right. On that uh, sabiki I gave Cody, he's reeling. All right. You got two at once. You know, that sabigi came all the way from Hawaii. That's good. It's a that one's good. That one's good, too? That's good. All right, double keepers. Nice job, Cody. Thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome, man. Sweet. Thank you, man. Right. Thank you. That's cool. Oh, my God. We're putting him in the cooler. Right here. Hey. Hey, this is a really, really good macro. In fact, my friend down there just got, or a subscriber just got uh, one on it. Um, I saw you using a spoon, which is pretty good. I don't know. I just tied it on. Okay, yeah. But it, yeah, I've got I got a couple micron spoon, but they're not the best right now. Want to let me tie this one on? Okay. What's <laughs> going here? Oh, Pebble. Oh! Pebble, you still got him. You still got him, really. You do. He's swimming. He's swimming. Exactly. Look, and there's a bunch with him. There are a bunch with him. <laughs> Everybody's catching him. Yeah, we ran into this last year. That's the whole reason we oh, came. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, he's got one. Well, you guys are smoking him. Nice, that's a keeper. All right, dude. All right, there you Thank go. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. We'll see if you get one on that. I mean, there's too much metal there. Too much metal to, for the mackerel. I mean, you can can catch some, but they'll mostly miss it. Uh, oh, oh you just got bit. Oh, you got one right away. Here's a, here's a pliers. Here's a plier, Cody. Thanks. You're welcome. You got one already. Oh, you got a Spanish already. First cast. My first one. Man. All right. Dude, crank him up. Crank him up. Oh, it's a it's a ladyfish. Oh shoot. Oh well. Well, okay. That's a good sign though. That's a good sign. 
All right, we'll get we'll go get him. Nobody better hook up right now. He's gonna steal it off. He's facing right at us. Oh look, there's one. Oh look, he ate that ladyfish. He ate the ladyfish. Have you have you caught a Spanish yet? Oh, we'll keep casting. We got a little bit more time. Sorry. Well, my friends, it's a beautiful, calm evening out here. Brody, I'm sorry that you couldn't catch your first Spanish mackerel. I really wanted to see that, but maybe next time. Maybe keep that lure and. Are you guys, how long, how much longer are you guys here? Tomorrow. We're leaving tomorrow. Oh, maybe. shoot. Yeah. Dang it. But maybe we'll, are you going to be here next year? Yeah, probably next year. You know, I've already seen some people this year that I saw last year, so maybe we'll just make it we'll, a... We'll probably see you here next year. Sounds good. <sighs> well, my friends, a fun time, a great time, actually, out at the pier. Now it's time to do a little cooking. Perfect fish sandwich. The easiest cook I've ever done. Well, my friends, nothing went as expected. And it was still a blast. It was fun, the, uh, the social time, as well as the fishing time with everybody on the pier. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one.